Craft has recently added in the Escape and Run Parasites mod to their mod pack. If you guys recall, on October 31st, I played Craft with the Parasites mod installed, along with the fact that I played a little bit of this mini series with the Craft mod pack with the Parasites mod. And all of this wasn't just because of how scary it would be for Parasites to be in RLCraft. I knew that RLCraft was actually adding in the Parasites mod based on their Discord server where I took a look at some of the beta versions of the 2.9 RLCraft pack. And let me tell you, this mod pack has a whole different feel compared to the previous one while also keeping that hard difficulty in fact i'd even argue that it's even harder than the previous versions of rlcraft so let me dive into it and talk about where you would find the parasites and whatnot what are some of the newer things that they've added changed or updated and just overall go over what's so good about the 2.9 version of this pack let's get right into it so right off the bat there's actually some new structures into the game and here we have like a little camp village almost i believe that there are these kinds of camps all over the place and here we have another structure i don't recall this being in the original rl crap but then again i could be you know mistaken this has a lot of mobs inside of it and is relatively scary to face. What the hell is that? Oh, that's just a vine. Dumb scare for no reason. I'm very, very easily startled by things. Of course, you have the Lycanite mobs, but I'm assuming that this pack has an updated version of the Lycanite's mobs, along with updating all of the previous mods as well. I'm actually going to pull up the change log real quick to see exactly what is changed and what's so good about the new version of RLCraft. So looking at the change log on RLCraft right here, pff, it is a whole, whole crap done. Shabaxi has done a great job. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I'm, I really do apologize, but either way, you've done a lot for this pack. As you can see here, use latest forge, and it is recommended to use Optifine, but for the new version of Optifine, known as the G5 version or later, if you have an E3 version of Optifine, then you can't use this Optifine version with this mod pack. Also, it says that Better Foliage has shader support, so there's also that as well. Quest. There are quests to complete in this pack. That is the biggest thing added to this mod pack. It's more than just being a hard mod pack. Now, there's a set goal, or I guess set goals set out to you by Shivaxi. Obviously, it says here, completely optional, but either way, it provides more motivation for people to keep playing because... A lot of people might have not noticed all of the features that Craft has and that it doesn't even include the fact that there's so many more mods added to this. In fact, let's compare the file size of this release versus the beta release of 2.8.2. It is almost double the size of the previous version of RLCraft. So it says here that the toughest nails has been replaced with their own mod known as Simple Difficulty which brings a ton of features to the thirst mechanics and the temperature mechanics and etc. And an example of this is that now, if you drink the regular water in RL Craft, you have a chance of contracting parasites. That's right. Even if you think that the thirst of the water is fine as it is, you have a chance of actually dying if you drink the water straight from any lake river or stream so even if like i said you're perfectly fine with the thirst mechanic from the previous one yeah you're going to have to make something to filter out that crappy water they had a rebalance for some of the weaponry such as spartan weaponry as i've mentioned before a lot of structures are overhauled the battle tower golem used to be bugged where people can fishing rod the battle tower golem off of the edge, which that's fixed. There's more stuff to this, such as Young's better stuff, which includes the better mine shafts, better caves, better bind, you know, etc. 
There's the boss progression revamp, the Lost City Dimension. We're going to check out the Lost City Dimension later in this video because I believe that's where we're going to find a special certain something. There are now locks on the chest. So let's actually go find the Battle Tower Golem to actually see like all of the features of the Battle Tower Golem. Look at the villages for a second. This seems a bit different. The blacksmith looks interesting. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here. But like, there's so many different houses and such. Look at this. That's interesting. That's unique. It's taken me a while to find one of these battle tower golems. But then again, a lot of people have had those things where they keep finding these battle tower golems like very, very frequently. So it's a good thing that they had so that the spawn rate for these things are a little less. These are these um, structures that they added in. These are new structures added in. They were in the beta version of Arla Craft. I like the way that they designed the structures. They're, they're very well made. And honestly, some of the structures in this are really, really pretty. They use the Macaw's bridges to add more design. And overall, they're just really nice. Oh, wow. Look at this village. This village seems to be bustling with a lot more life. There's a little bit of a, what is this, a tree farm? It's almost like a little crop farm. Oh, it's a gr it's a grapevine farm. Okay. Well, it's a farm for grapes, but it uses grapevine me like mechanic. Yeah. And there's this weird tower looking thing. Interesting. So the villages are definitely revamped and there's some daylight sensors here. These villages seem to be spawning a lot more frequently. Either that or I'm just like really lucky with the village spawns. And they're just really massive looking compared to the previous villages in RL Craft. All right, so here's another one of those, you know, structures that they added in. Very, very nice. I love the way that they made these structures. They're so good. They're, they're, they're really good. We, we go over here and it's just such a well-designed structure. And obviously some of the, the structures use like different parts of the mods that are in this. Um, and that one spawns in with like stalactites and all that for design aspects. Obviously, I, I, th I think I said this before, but some of them spawns in with like the Macaw stuff, Macaw's bridges. Oh my God. I, fi <laughs> I finally found a battle tower, right? By the way, we'll get to that structure in just a bit. I finally found a battle tower, right guys? And it doesn't even have a freaking uh, a golem on top of it. Are you serious? It's one of these battle towers, but look at the wooden um, like locks. There's locks on them, so you can't just like go in and just loot them and then yeah. Um, but let me take a look at this structure. Did this structure spawn in with the village? No, no, I think it's just another random like boss, t like no, uh, not boss tower, but like a, a dungeon tower. Uh, do these have locks on the chest? Let's see. No, I'm assuming it may be further down. There's some locked chests, but I don't see any locked chests. So, yeah. Okay, so I actually found a tower golem right here. So, so something that people like to do is that they like to get a fishing rod and then fishing rod the, the golem off the map. Now, you can't do that. And you see here, uh, first off, this tower golem seems to be... There we go. So, yeah, now you can't fish the guy... You can fish him a little bit, like, like there's a little movement that he does, but it's not like prominent. It's not like he just goes flying. So like at most you get a little hop, skip and, and jump, but you will not be able to get this tower golem off the map that easily. Now also there's a lock. So do it open these things up? Uh, so we have some sort of lock bits here, but let's try uh, steel lock pick. So it just goes, I actually don't know the buttons. This is the first time I'm going to be doing this. Oh, up with... Okay. Okay, so it's there. Damn, all right. I think you have to do it in a certain order. Yeah. And then... That one. That one. Wow, that is super difficult. And to think that you have to do all of this while the Battle Tower Golem is here. Meaning that you have to destroy the Battle Tower Golem. And then when the tower starts to crack and crumble and fall and all that. Because once you kill the Battle Tower Golem, you have to, you know, dip. You need to break the chest or do the whole lockpicking thing, which is a pain in the ass. 
<laughs> it is a real interesting concept that they added in to, you know, Arlo Craft with the whole lock picking mechanics and all that. So there's another overhaul of uh, parkour mechanics as well. So I, I think maybe the parkour mechanics are like the wall jump. I think maybe wall jumps in here. The Lost City Dimension, I said I would take a look at. So I'll, I'll take a look at that. Like new enchantments plus many of the enchantments reworked. Mobs or some of the new mobs, uh, new animations, villagers are pimped out. Many dungeon reworks, antique Atlas revamped with all new textures and icons. So there's that as well. There's some race rings now only found in the Lost City, so you have to go to Lost Cities to find certain things. Carpet on stairs. So, like I said, and, and even says here, because of how, in, like, many things that this guy added, he doesn't even remember, like, all the stuff that he added. So, yeah, there's obviously performance stuff for the servers. You have to allow fly. You tick must be minus one for larger structure generations and whatever. And difficulty should be hard because of the features obviously our craft is hard the hardest mod pack ever so it makes sense to have it on the hardest difficulty added better questing classic class class hats ah simply difficulty quark young for the cage and for better nether escaping error redacted nice we all know what that mod is but we all yeah yeah Locks, dynamic trees, set bonus, charm, inspiration, rustic, fishing made better, bountiful, and decaling, particle column, but real bench, rally dungeon, spin app edition, FNAF, and hours edition, Macaw's bridge is better than other capable horses, shield break, controlling, LNE's dodge, so that's th that's one of the um, features for the uh, agility stuff. Spawn Todd, Astar Cart, bed break, be gone, collision damage, constant suker. Giants, ooh. So there's some, there's two of these mods that I actually don't know these mods, but they're pretty good mods, I'm assuming, because they're error information redacted. So these are probably more mob related mods that are, you know, found around your world. So you need to, uh, I, well, I guess I could go to the mods folder and see which one are these two. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Fix it up. New Dynamic Tree Trivial Stability Patch. Youngest of Law. Toast Control, Fix Control, In Control. Mixed the compact, mixed the mixture, added L U M, but then there are misses. And then this is right, it's a fire, for flame, dice, and wep whatever weapons. And of course, new structures, including a few special structures from the community. Those are the ones that we've been finding around the lines. And these are, these are the ones that are removed. Tough as nails removed, lost souls removed, bobbles removed, old dynamic trees, traverse and patch moved. The Royal Light Dungeons removed for the Fenaris edition. Swing through glass, goss exploits. Campfire, no longer needed. Campfire spy, n spit, no longer needed. Remove Dragon Steel, remove Herobrine. You can go through each individual Lycanite as well to see all of the new mobs and all that. New mob events, whatever. Just overall, there's just so many new things. So let's actually, let's actually go, go over into the Lost Cities because so to get to Lost Cities, you have to do Thou Art Following. I believe it's bed right I'm um to the white bitch in case and then skulls right here whoops right here and then I think it's just around the entire thing in skulls oh and it needs to be placed on two Cincinnati lamps since sin 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 yes these things this 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 holy crap okay so that's how you get to that thing Yes, that is right, gamers. Welcome to Lost Cities, where it is lost for not only the fact that there are a bunch of these mobs rolling around, but there are some parasites. It's an assimilated big spider. I've actually never seen this one before, but yeah. Oh boy. There's some blight zombies. There's just a lot of like crap in this dimension that is out to kill you. Yeah, so this is where all the parasites reside. The heck is this thing? A heavy carrier. Okay. I haven't seen a lot of the parasites before. So, kind of getting an idea as to what they are. But I like that it's in a different world. And the reason for this is because when I played the parasites... What the heck? When I played the parasites mod in RL craft it was hard like in the overworld so it's a good thing that's in this dimension and not in the overworld 
Otherwise, it would be a pain in the absolute. Ah! <laughs> Dude, there's so many parasites around. Jesus. And there are some things in this dimension that you would need to find that aren't in the other dimensions or anything like that. So, obviously, good luck. Now, how do I get back? Is it just the same thing? Hope it's the same thing. Yeah, so make sure to bring extra supplies for the teleportation back. Otherwise, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> you're you're kind of screwed. Now, they said that the nether was rehauled, overhauled, whatever. Let's actually check this out. So, flint seal to the nether. So let's go. All right. So, we, we are going into the nether, which has a bunch of different things for us to see. We're going to see a lot of things. Look at the nether. It is freaking pretty, my gamers. It is absolutely hell of pretty or hella pretty. Like the mobs roam the entire landscape. While also there be some other mobs here and about, such as the nether EX mobs. So enjoy that, my gamers. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Look at look whole oh, tyrant dragon. What? Look at this. Frick, where's the tyrant dragon at? Oh. That's <laughs> that this this is where no that's where the molten titan is. <laughs> where is the I I'm gonna head out. <laughs> That's the Lagonite boss dungeon thing, yeah. But look at this area, dude. This is ridiculous. Yeah, overall, very pretty. I I will say this is this is nice. I like this a lot. What is this a fence? No, it's just a root. I don't know if there's any end like things that are new. There probably are some new things in the end, but I mean, yeah. Well, look at this area, Jesus. Oh my God, this thing goes for like a while. Oh, what the heck? All right, dude, this, this thing, it's, it's just huge. It's huge. It's huge. You can find a lot more about this on your own, in your own spare time. But let's go back into the overworld and I want to do at least one more thing. Yes, look at these caves. Obviously, it's a little scary with some of these special mobs around, but these caves, they're amazing. Everybody, this is what the new RL crap is like. There's diamonds. There's a lot of diamonds, actually, surprisingly. But then again, it, it is RL craft. You need to get a lot of stuff to get the diamonds, right? So, you know, mining levels and all that. Okay, let's just like zoom our way through the walls. And there's a nice little dungeon there. Ooh. Interesting placement for a house. My game. Well, that's not intimidating at all. Just replace the spawners with the freaking light and mobs. See what I... Oh, boy. Why is there two of these things right in the... Okay, you know what? Sure. Why isn't there any mine? There it is. Holy crap. I found a mine shed. But look at this. It's like a new di 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 diverse, different mine shaft. And yes, this is added to your game. And yes, there are cave biomes. My gamer. And yeah, overall, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me get out of spectator. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the new 2.9 update for RL Craft. And RL Craft is scarier, more dangerous, and more expansive than ever before. So, make sure to play this with your friends and have a great time.